Hello everyone, this is Alejandro and in this tutorial we will see how to create a frosted glass icon effect. So as you can see here, if I rotate the glass effect is basically blurring everything below. So this is a very nice effect and it's something that it can be achieved on a spline super easily. So yeah, let's see how we can build something like this. All right, let's begin. All right, so I'm going to start by selecting this rectangle and changing the orientation so i want this to be in 90 degrees and i also want this to be on something like 64 units in the round corners uh, i also want this extrusion to be something like 16 units and a bevel of four and also for size in the bevel and then i want this to be on the phone so with this we have our basic shape ready I also want to go to isometric so making sure that we have the right orientation of the camera and I'm going to disable my grid plane and also the snapping because we don't need those so now what I want is to change the background color so this is gonna be something I think like this so I want the base color to be a gradient something like a purple gradient so I'm going to change this color layer into a depth layer which is a 3d gradient so i'm going to use the smooth interpolation or blending and i'm going to move the gradient something like this i'm also going to move the handles in here to make it more soft and to go in this direction now i'm going to change the value here a little bit so this is going to be something like this a little blue and then it becomes um, maybe more like a purple something like that let's maybe keep adjusting a little the values until we find something that maybe looks good enough so maybe it could be like this and this could be perhaps a little more bluish yeah. I also want to use uh, an overlay in here so that's gonna change a little the color and maybe this could be something like 60% instead so this way we don't have so much contrast in here so now let's adjust a little the color again maybe increase the, the radius of this and moving this a little bit to, to this side here so I think um, yeah something like this should work better all right, so now that we have the base, let's go and duplicate this shape. So I am going to select the shape and press Command D to duplicate. And then I'm going to move this new copy somewhere around 100 units. So it's gonna be something like that. So in here, I noticed a few things. I noticed that we had some shadows, so I, I actually don't need those shadows. So I'm going to disable the shadows in the light. I also think the light itself can be a little different. So maybe we can move it a little to the top, maybe something like 500 units. Yeah, that looks better. And now for this shape here, um, what I want is that I want to create a color layer and I want to remove the depth layer and I want this to be white and now what I want is to create a glass layer here so it's going to be something like this and then um, the glass layer needs to be below this and I think this should be something like this maybe like this and then um, my glass layer should be maybe around let's say 60 percent and for the blur I think something like 24 should work maybe this could be maybe more like 80 percent and now what i want is i want to duplicate this layer again so i press command d duplicate and now i move the new one to the top 200 units now so now we have something like this i realized that maybe uh, we can make everything a little bigger so instead of this in here we can use something like 400 by 400 now with this bigger surface, um, in this last one in here, I want a bigger blur, maybe something like 48. Okay, no, that's too much. <laughs> maybe let's try uh, 32. I don't know, somewhere like somewhere around there should work. Yeah, something like that should work. And um, I want to reduce the opacity as well. Maybe this could be something like 60%, so we can see a little more of this surface. So. 
now what I want is that I want to create another light, but it's going to be like a point light and it's going to be like on this side and it's going to be maybe something like 1.2. So you can tell that I, what I want here is that I want this little highlight in the, in the border, but I don't really want the shadows in here. So I'm going to disable the shadows. So I'm going to put this light um, around here. So it's going to be just for the highlights in there. Yeah, something like that, I think it should work. Actually, let's put it in one as it was before. Okay, so it seems like we have something that looks quite nice already. And that is it. Basically, that's how you can create a frosted glass effect. But what else you can do in here, right? So the cool thing is because we are using vectors, we can now select all of the vectors. And for example, we can um, increase the extrusion. So let's say if we increase, it, increase the extrusion to here, and now we have something like this, which is actually quite nice. You can see if you rotate, you can see from different point of views, and it looks like it's refracting light. Another idea would be like, if we go back to the previous one, uh, we can increase the corner radius a lot. So now it's more like a cylinder, right? So you can also achieve something like this. And another thing that you can do is that you can change the color in the bottom part. So for example, maybe this is more like red. Um, so you can see how cool it looks when you change the color because now it looks like a lot more saturated. So you can, you know, obviously you can play around with the values and, you know, think about something that works for you, right? So I actually like a lot how it looks like in here because, you know, you can see the color is kind of like um, being blurred right in there. So here in play mode, you can see how it looks when you rotate everything You can see the different layers are kind of like getting this really frosted glass effect. So that's how you can create this effect on a spline. You can also animate and do a bunch of other cool things. So I hope this quick tutorial is helpful for you to achieve this type of effects. All right, see you next time. Bye bye.